Hello, I'm Tom Parker Bowles and welcome to this interactive edition of Live Magazine. I'm here at Tramshed Restaurant, one of the great steak restaurants of London. And today I'm going to show you how easy it is to cook a proper steak. Okay, so this steak, the whole key of it is you want all this lovely marbling Asian Himalayan salt. Uh, which might sound a bit hippieish, but actually it brings out the moisture. But you can see all this lovely marbling all over. It's a really the right kind of fat, creamy fat, which gives you succulence. Now, nice British bit of oil here, bit of rapeseed oil. So, rub it all in. So it's all getting a bit covered. And again, I'm oiling the steak, not the pan. Salt, lots of salt. You need it for that crust. Don't panic about blood pressure and heart attacks and all the rest of it because this is good salt. You might think it's a bit much, but it's not. This is a treat steak. Pepper. Right. So that is all ready. And this pan has been heating for about half an hour, 45 minutes. It's properly hot now. So, lay the steak, put it in. Don't touch it, don't prod it, don't fiddle with it. Just leave it alone for a minute. The steak's from Glenarm, from Northern Ireland. This is a sirloin, it's got much more flavor. What you find is that the mussels have done a lot of work in life, the sirloin, the rump, they're slightly chewier, they have more flavor. The fillet, on the other hand, has had a pretty easy life underneath the backbone of the uh, cow. So it's very tender. It tends to lack the deep flavor, but it's not one's better than the other, they're just different. Good steak is about a combination of many, many different things. Right, a minute's up now. So we should have a nice crust now. and bang it, and I'd say about two minutes on the other side. So you've got those nice bars on it, and that all that lovely brown is caramelized flavor, the mild reaction. The more you cook it, the more the meat tightens up. So well done, there's a, there's a method with your hand. But again, I, I don't know, you just, after cooking for another, you just know when it's done or not. But this, again, the feeling it, it really is gonna be absolutely blue at this point. The other thing about the resting, which, which is absolutely key, it's not just about the succulents, it continues to cook you can bring it to the level you want by uh, resting it for longer in a warm place. I'm gonna take it off and rest it for three minutes before cutting. So, there we have a steak. People worry about steak, people say steaks are very difficult to cook. They're not, you need good steak, you need oil, salt, pepper, and a searing hot cast iron pan if possible, and then cook it, and depending on the size of the steak, however you want it, and then leave it to rest. Perfect steak in a few minutes. Beautiful piece of steak. That is how I like it, very rare. Obviously a minute more if you want it medium, and another minute if you want it well done. Good steak.